My name is Larissa Watterson. My presentation will be on Johann Henrik Pestalozzi. Some general information about Johann. He was born on January 12, 1746, in Zurich, Switzerland, when his father died at an early age, which led him to grow up without a father's influence. In 1769, he married and built a home for him and his new wife to start a family. They called their home Neuhoff. Some careers before he entered the education field. He had the goal of entering the ministry, which quickly dissolved, at which point he started farming, first with an apprenticeship, and then he started experimenting with agricultural methods on a small area of wasteland outside of Zurich. In Germany, there is a medal given to dedicated teachers in Johann's honor. Some educational experiences Johann, Johann had throughout his life. At their home in Neuhof, Johann and his wife took in local orphans, gave them an education and a family life. This was their wish so that Johann could test his theory on helping others by helping them help themselves. Later in his life, when the new Swiss government came into power, Johann refused the position of editing a journal and instead requested a few months experience at teaching. Sooner than anyone had expected, an opportunity opened up. The French army destroyed a small town as they were traveling through as they were traveling through on their way to attack Austria. Johann was given the task of setting up and running a home for the children who had lost everything. Similar to what he and his wife did for the orphans earlier, eventually, when the French troops retreated and came back through, they took over the premises and turned it into a military hospital for their sick and wounded. After this home was destroyed, Johann was then transferred to teach at an infantry school for the children ages five through eight. Success was so great, he received a letter explaining how great it would be for others to teach this age group to have the knowledge and the process to set the foundation of learning in the little ones as he had did. And they awarded him for promoting him to headmaster position in the second school, second boys school of the town. When Johann was 72, he set up a poor school, and when its end came, Johann tried to transfer the boys attending it to his home, Neuhof, so that way he and his wife could care for them as they had done the orphans many years earlier. However, it was too late, and the, the boys had already been transferred elsewhere. In the middle of Johann's educational career, he had some experiment, experience in the field of writing. After his first major success with the orphans, his story was published in a local journal. And in the next year to come, his friend had success, successfully encouraged him to try his hand at writing. The book he wrote was called Leonard and Gertrude and the Agricultural Society of Bern gave him a gold medal that he sold almost immediately for the funds, which he so desperately needed. This book also gave him the support of those supporters who he had lost after his financial ruin. The success of this story led him to write three more volumes throughout the next few years. He imp implemented his educational theories throughout these books as Gertrude t taught the children in the story. Liberty is a good thing, and obedience is equally so. We should reunite what Rousseau has separated. Impressed by the evils of an unwise constraint that only tends to degrade humanity, he has not remembered the limits of liberty. Nevertheless, life for the young child should be happy and free, and, educational, and education and self-control should be gradual and careful. Punishment and restraint should rarely be necessary. Pressure to learn beyond the child's natural pace is harmful, and denying the opportunities to learn by trial and error retards the development of character as well as of learning. This is a quote from Johann himself, and I feel it expresses how he felt about education and how it should be done. Johann was an educational reformer. 
who believe the best way to help students get the most out of their education is to help them help themselves. He believed every child had the opportunity to succeed.